Hi, today I'm going to talk about the connection that exists between the foxtrot musical genre and the blues music. There are a lot of evidences showing strong links between these two musical genres. For instance, the big majority of blues instrumental recordings before 1920 were labeled foxtrot. Same thing happens for the blues piano rolls and the blues sheet music publications. But it may be also because Foxtrot was the biggest sensation of the second part of the teens, and that it was then maybe a commercial opportunism to use this appellation of Foxtrot for any kind of material. Let me give you a quick overview about the Foxtrot music. It emerged during the spring of 1914 as a new dance, apparently named after the dancer Harry Fox, but other dancers like John Sawyer and the couple Vernon and Irene Castle claim to have created the dance. The castles developed their own version of the Foxtrot in April 1914, being inspired by the Memphis Blues, composed by William Christopher Handy two years earlier. They got the idea to create a dance on this tune after James Rees Europe, also known as Jim Europe, who suggested to create something that would fit with the slower tempo of the Memphis Blues. They first performed the new dance during the summer of 1914 and was immediately a tremendous success. Vernon Castle admitted later that he was not the creator, if not the adapter, of an older dance of black folk origin. The role played by the first instrumental blues success ever composed Memphis Blues in the creation of the Foxtrot is definitely guaranteed, showing that the two musical genres have strong connections, at least when they emerge together. One of the characteristics of the Foxtrot dance is its combination of fast and slow step. The slow one was described as a slow drag by Vernon Castle in 1914, and the earliest blues were danced too as slow drags, showing again the big connection between the two. I would like to add that the music played in this video is my piano rendition of the original Foxtrot, composed by Frank Henry Clickman in 1914, and is to my knowledge the first print publication of a Foxtrot piece of music. Thank you for watching.